you know. Watched a not, lot of Netflix, a lot of Netflix, man. Fuck. I, start, I, I watched so much Netflix the last six months, Netflix stopped giving me suggestions. <laughs> like, fuck it, man, you watched everything. <laughs> and like, you know, Netflix is cool, but like, I like some of the original programming. I like, like, the Squid Game was good. And then I watched that show Made, that was good. I liked that show Made, because they lived in a trailer and they broke up. I was like, ooh. I can relate to this shit. <laughs> the documentaries be fucking me up on Netflix, so them documentaries, like, I, I'd be like, where do you be finding this shit? I watched that Jeffrey Epstein, that documentary, that dude was wildin'. Even R. Kelly was like, you're doing too much, bro. Slow down, seriously. <laughs> like, I took the girl to Chicago. This motherfucker got an island. I was like, levels. <laughs> I watched, uh, man, I watched that Aaron Hernandez documentary. Man, that dude was wildin'. That dude was killing people, sucking dick, and catching touchdowns in the same weekend. <laughs> I ain't ever had a weekend that wild. He got me beat. Aaron Hernandez did three things in three days I have never done. I've never killed nobody, I've never sucked a dick, and I have never caught a touchdown. I got nothing in common with that dude. Here's, here's my biggest issue with Netflix. I don't like it that Netflix, they don't give accurate descriptions of a lot of the programs. So you'll watch something, think you're watching, and it'll be, it'll be about totally something, something else that you didn't see coming, like you had no business watching. Because one day I was, ser I was searching through Netflix, and uh, I saw this documentary called Abducted in Plain Sight, right? Now some of you have seen it, some of you haven't. Well, this is what Netflix says it's about. Netflix said, see how a young family moves to Utah and their oldest daughter gets kidnapped not once, but twice by the same next door neighbor. I don't know how the fuck's that happened. I'm gonna watch that, I turn it on. So, this is what it's really about. This is what it's really about. It's a husband, wife, three daughters. They move to Utah. They move right next door to this guy and his wife. So the next door neighbor dude takes a liking to the oldest daughter. So he ends up fucking the dad, then he kidnaps the daughter. And notice what I just said right there. The dad fucked the dad. You gotta put that in the description. <laughs> How you leave that shit out? That changed the whole goddamn documentary for me personally. <laughs> Gets worse. <laughs> so the dad fucks the dad, kidnaps the daughter. Then they catch him with the daughter. He says, yeah, yeah, go ahead and turn me in. Go ahead and press charges. If you do, I'm telling everybody your dad's a homosexual. Family don't want that shit getting out. They don't press charges. So he gets to move right next door again. Then he ends up fucking the mom. Then he kidnaps the daughter again. And the whole time I'm watching this shit, I'm going, God damn it. I know black people are going, that's some white people shit right there. That would never happen to no black family. Fuck you, that's Utah white. That's a different type of white. I'm not taking it out from a whole race on that one. <laughs> what makes the documentary even more disturbing is the dad is the narrator. It ain't somebody else telling the story. Now the dad's going into detail how he fucked the neighbor dude. <laughs> and listen, you don't see this twist coming at all because the documentary's about an hour and a half long. It's about 30 minutes in for this twist happen. So at 30 minutes in, it's moving along like a regular kidnapping documentary. So at this point, I'm not really paying attention. I'm on my phone, I'm texting people, I'm more listening to watching, right? And all of a sudden, the dad, in the middle of the TV on his recliner, and he just starts talking. Well, um, so Bill came over and he asked me to go for a ride in his, in his car. So I got in his car and we went for a ride. And he stopped near a park. And he proceeded to tell me he's no longer happy in his marriage. And him and his wife are no longer intimate. And I looked over, and his penis was out. And he said to me, I just need a release. 
I just need a release. So I leaned over and I released him. <laughs> and I'm on my phone like, the fuck he just say? <laughs> now I'm rewinding the shit. I can't turn it off, it's a fucking train wreck at this point. So I watch the whole goddamn documentary and as soon as it's over, Netflix starts suggesting all this new shit for me to watch. <laughs> Gary, by your viewing history, you might wanna watch Brokeback Mountain. You might want to check out the crying game. I was like, 